是一副。Welcome once again to my YouTube channel. If you are seeing my face for the first time, I am Amanda Miti of the Mandy and Family YouTube channel. I'm a YouTuber based in more precisely in Ghana, here in Delta State of Nigeria. How you guys doing? To my old and returning subscribers, thank you so so much for always sticking around. Thanks for the likes, for the shares, for the comments, for all you do on my videos. Now. Welcome to everyone who is watching my video for the first time. If you're new here and you love content that are faith-based, you know, Christian lifestyles, video reaction in a positive way, then please consider subscribing to my channel. Alright, today we're talking about the latest on the Queensland School in Lagos. For those of you who do not know, alright, the school was involved in a scandal lately and that's what we're going to be deliberating on. If that's what you're interested in watching, please keep on watching. Once again, so like I said, we are talking latest on the Queensland school. Those of you who do not know, I already did the introduction. They were involved in a scandal lately, okay? Recently, about a video that was circulating about a month ago that they probably we do not know because it's an allegation where or we're not aware about. And the parents, okay, of the child involved, you know, came out making a cry, you know. A lot of things going on and that's why we are coming out we're using our platforms as a way to make publications to kind of like enlighten people okay on the need of certain things all right now quickly the area i'll be coming in from is from the area where the deputy national parents teachers association okay the deputy president came out lately to talk about this particular incident just go online probably you might get to see some of the things that were said but I will come in from this angle and that these are the things these are the area that I'm going to come in from now this the deputy president of the National Parents Teachers Association he came out he thanked the Lagos government for shutting down the school the school has been shut down the branches that it has all over Lagos has been shut down presently and then he thanked the government for doing the right thing and there were some things that he talked about and those are the areas that I want to talk about he gave out you know three things as it concerns parents as it concerns the particular video one of them is poor parenting or parenting for the supposed video that is going on now I just want to ship this in because what we do is to advise parents I am a parent as well, okay, so we are all learning from this thing. He has said poor parenting is one of the reasons why a particular video like that can go on. And I think it's on both sides for the particular girl child involved and the supposed boys that were involved as well. And that's why we are coming out using this platform to please tell all parents. Parenting is a task, is a hard task and that. It's not a task that you can do on your own. The Bible says, by strength, no man shall prevail. So if you are parents, and now parents, official parents, please, let's take up the responsibility of parenting. It's a tasking one. It's a task that has been laid upon us by necessity. God has given us this task. We must take the task of parenting very seriously. I did a video, I'll link it up somewhere here, where Tonto DK was, you know, saying something about, you know, if anybody tells the child, you know, they will react and stuff like that. And I was saying, we have seen situations where parents have supposedly taught their children well. They did well in parenting and eventually found out that these children turned out to be something else. So, please parents, let's take up this task of parenting seriously spiritually take it up seriously physically take it up seriously because it's a task that requires our full attention okay so one of the reasons he gave which we might want to succumb to is poor parenting so everyone the task the onus is on us everyone parents i mean let's take up the responsibility of parenting seriously have time for your children okay know what they are doing at every point in time know who their friends are you know tell them about stuffs teach them or we'll go there about life as a way the only thing he talked about was indiscipline okay indiscipline as we know it's not you know cautioning them as a way when a child does something the responsibility is on us to tell them hey you have heard okay and that child automatically knows that he has heard he learns from it so we must take up the responsibility of discipline seriously 
you know, it's tied to parent as a way. So a child does something wrong at home, wherever, or maybe somebody tells you, your child did this. We must take up the responsibility, responsibility of disciplining our children. Wherever they have heard, make sure you let them know they have heard. Discipline them. If it warrants flogging, flog. The Bible says, spare the rod, you spoil the child. Some parents might want to, you know, frown at it, but to an extent, we can discipline our children, you know, with care. We can discipline them by depriving them of certain privileges that, you know, they have. So we must take up the responsibility of disciplining our children, you know, as they were whenever they air, whenever we find out, you know, that they have crossed the line they're not supposed to cross. So that's the second reason he gave why he thinks the reason, you know, the video has gone up. Now the third thing he gave is improper counseling on education education okay you know i didn't want to say that as so much but we must try as much as possible to educate our children our girl child our boy child on the reason why they need to keep themselves we must educate them on the reason you know why this particular topic is of great necessity okay cancel them make them i did a video another video please check out my videos on the reason why you need to alert them teach them from young teach them from when they are small let them know this is my body parts let them know these parts are private and they're not supposed to be tempered by anyone let them know that no one touches me you know those parts that are covered properly no one touches no one comes near no one comes close so when we properly cancel our children okay as parents sit them down be friends with them let them know okay what this is it's not like a hiding thing as it were let them know you know what it is and that way you will be saving the girl child you will be saving the boy child so improper counseling on education is one of the other reasons that he gave why a supposed video like that can go up and you know children like that of that age you know the concern really is the age concern we're talking about a 10 year old child and you know like that stuff like that so we must make sure we properly counsel them on the need why their bodies need to be kept okay we need to teach our girl child righteousness how to care for their body how to protect their body all these things are stuff that we owe our children as children we owe them the responsibility until they are grown up enough to decide otherwise and when you train them up you find out that they decide positively they decide good things of life you know the national president also did not leave the school behind and that's the same message i'll be passing us across to everyone everyone who handles children as a way okay a school an organization that handles children please let's try as much as possible when we have taught them yeah let's make sure that the boys and the girls are not kept in the same place because the story going around is the went for a trip in dubai and the boys and girls were kept in the same place i don't know how true that is probably allegations but they were kept in the same room this ought not to be i try to you know separate girls and boys as as it is because these are children okay we must try as much as possible as organizations as school to make sure that whenever our children go out for occasions and they need to sleep in that particular place awaiting the occasion the boys must be separated for the girls to forestall happenings like that all right i've said so much please leave in the comment section below what do you think you know do you think these are the reasons why the supposed video is going on okay why this supposed video was made was it as a result of poor parenting do you think you know improper counseling on education was a reason why you know these children could go on did these parents not teach them well did they not counsel them well did they not discipline them well or you think you know boys and girls can be left together in a place after all their minds are polluted what do you think please leave it in the comment section below we would all want to interact and want to learn as much as possible as always let's remember that parenting is a task that god has given to us we must try as much as possible to make sure that the task given to us 
is properly done because we are going to give account. We will give account when Christ comes. You know, these children, we are caretakers. We are not the owners of these children. They've been given to us by God to care for them. And I just want to pray for everyone, parents, who is trying their best. They are trying their best in parenting. But, you know, there seems to be no head. I pray for you that God will come down. He would see you through. He will see every one of us through. As parents, God will see us through. Our labor of love will not be in vain. We will not struggle to train these children. And the devil will come and snatch them away from us in the mighty name of Jesus. Alright, this is where I'm going to be ending the video for today. As well as, please feel free to comment in the comment section below. Let us know your thoughts about this happening as a way. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you're watching, you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Help encourage me as much as you can. You know, like, share, comment. Don't be too tight-fisted with your likes as a way. Please comment, like, and share on my videos. As always, let's try to make sure that the task at hand, parenting task, is not left for anyone, for minders, for anyone. We must try as much as possible to keep up with our parenting task. Thank you so, so much for watching. Until I come away again next time, remember this. God loves you, Jesus loves you, and so do I. Bye. One, two, three, four.